Now we have an entrepreneur coming from Berlin. He is called Knut Hechtfischer, one of the founders of Ubitricity, and they are trying to create really cost-efficient EV charging infrastructure. Very. <laughs> You're so right. There we are. My name is Knut Hechtfischer, founder, co-founder, and one of the managing directors of Ubitricity. I'm glad to be here. Um, I think it's time that we speak about e-mobility. Clean mobility um, will be part of not the problems, as you might think today on a daily basis when you read the newspaper, it will be a part of the solution. We have to be cleaner in future. We have to burn less oil, and therefore, electric mobility is very important. It's part of the larger trend scenario we spoke about in the morning. So um, the oil is going to be scarce. So demand is rising at the same time with the usual implications for the price. So we think it's fair to say that oil prices will rise. At the same time, electricity prices, when you think of fluctuating generation by photovoltaics, for example, is relatively reduced in price. So driving with electric cars will be the solution in future. It will take a while. Yeah, it's not scaling like an internet business to 50 or 100,000 users within a week, but it's going, to, it's going to come. So what's the biggest challenge? The biggest challenge is, as you all know, the battery. It's expensive. It's, when it's large for the range that you're used to have in that type of cars, um, <clears throat> it's very expensive. So you want to have a smaller one, you know, but that requires that you charge. So charging is what it's all about. The system needs an optimization. You do not want only to charge at home. You want to charge wherever you are, if possible, and that needs to be affordable. So in principle, a socket is what you need. You charge at work for eight hours, maybe. A simple socket would suffer, but electricity will not be given away for free. So ask your employer, say, I want a socket. Well, for the first employee, maybe it's for free for the second and the third, but then the 20, 30 euros per month and user, they will start to annoy, and then it needs to be metered, and it needs to be built, and therefore you need a technique, a socket is not enough. So that's conventional wisdom currently. Question is, will your boss buy you one? I said, I want to charge here, I need charging equipment. Boss says, no, I won't pay for that. He's going to ask someone, a consultant, say, hey, how do I do that? How do I get my money back if someone is going to charge this car here on my parking place? And that is the status quo. We think that is too expensive. I think it's very well explained if I show you a short movie. It's about two minutes long, and I hope it helps you very well to understand what we are actually trying to achieve. Each and every one of us uses electricity every day. Wherever electricity is consumed, it must be metered to allow for precise billing and efficient usage. At home, electricity is metered and billed per household. A proven solution, as long as electric appliances do not move. But electric mobility challenges this tradition of stationary metering. Drivers and electricity providers require a billing solution for electricity consumed wherever they choose to charge their electric vehicles, not only at home, but particularly at work. Energy is too precious to be given away for free. That's why Ubitricity mobilizes metering technology. Metering and communication are securely processed by mobile electronics. Instead of installing complex electronics at every parking spot, users simply take metering technology along with them. Fully functional charge spots then require much less technology. Ubitricity system sockets will be sufficient. Mobile electronics inside the car or the charging cable unlock the system socket, enable user and transaction-based metering, and allow for precise billing. Mobile metering paves the way towards a dense network of charging spots because system sockets cost a mere fraction of conventional charging spots. 
Without a meter, operating costs are even reduced to zero. This makes providing charging points an attractive option. And everyone can cost-effectively equip even large numbers of parking spaces with system sockets. Mobile metering makes metering and billing electricity easy and providing charging points affordable. It's the smart solution for drivers and infrastructure providers alike. Rethinking infrastructure for electric vehicles. That's Ubitricity. I still like it, I have to admit. Um, <laughs> it might sound a bit ambitious, and it might sound maybe a little bit complicated to shift technology from the wall into the car. So when, why, why is that a good idea? You have more charge spots. You want to have more charge spots and then users. You start with one at home, you have a second one at work, you want another one at the retailer. So you have to make the most frequent part of the system the cheapest one. It will be around 50 euro, and that's a mere fraction, not even a tenth of what you can buy currently. And since it has no meter, and it needs no own access logic, but uses the mobile electronics in the car as interface, it comes with no running costs. And we think that that truly scales. And if you want to mobilize the metering, well, you can put it in the car. That's very efficient, because you find a lot in the car. There are microcontrollers, displays, interfaces. And be assured, a car that can park on its own today, it can count the energy it consumes and pass that on to an internet server where it's multiplied with a price. So that is no rocket science. It works. And it's outside. You can check it. We're not developing that alone, of course. Um, that would be a, charge, um, um, a task too challenging for a startup. So we are, from day one, cooperating with, uh, well, incumbents, players with the right reputation that are knowing what they're doing, so players from the energy service industry, meter data collection, meter management, uh, energy data management, um, grid operators, so they are involved. Metrology Institute um, is involved, so to get around the paper, um, to do the paperwork, the legal environment, um, all that has to be taken into account, and it has to be sold to the automobile industry, of course. And, uh, well, since um, we have the expertise, well, close to on board of uh, market-leading suppliers that can, well, design, manufacture, distribute the plugs and the in-cable meters. Um, we are pretty um, confident that we reach our goal to deploy the first 1,000 um, systems in Germany for a field test in the course of the next year. So we will install 300 in Berlin mainly to showcase the system, how it scales, and how simple and affordable it is. And uh, next year, we're going to have 1,000, mainly in Germany, Berlin there, and the Dach region, maybe even in France. I mean, what means even, but I would hope to see one socket, at least in Paris, one day. And um, so we are here to answer your questions. Thank you very much, Knut. Anybody has a question for Knut? Please raise your hand and wait for the microphone. Wow, I think your fantastic video was uh, too good in order to raise more questions, but... Uh, I've seen a question. One? Ah, over there, Bart. Yes. I, I always have a question. So, the, um, <clears throat> are you have any, do you have any dependency on either uh, the utilities or the car manufacturers with your business model? <laughs> Well, how independent you deem yourself in, with regard I mean, to... I mean, like, as soon as you need them to work with you for your business to work, of course, you're talking about a very different cycle to get into the market than without. That's the reason. Well, well the need to cooperation is defined by the resources you have, actually. So with, um, with enough money um, and ambitious enough, uh, you don't actually need to cooperate. I mean, you could give away the first 50,000 sockets for free and simply take over the market if you were ambitious enough, but that requires the right investor to do. <laughs> so we have an uh, A-round uh, VC finance closed in 2010. Um, well, we've come across the idea that 50 million now would be the right investment to do just that. We think that is very ambitious, so we are looking for 5 to 10 B-round in the course of the second half of the next year, uh, of this year, sorry. 
And um, so dependencies simply depend on resources, actually. And there is a car outside, and you can take a look and probably get a demo and go more into detail during the breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much to Knut. <laughs> All right. Thank you.